I told you, this thing is bigger than Nino Brown, and I gotta listen. Order. Ooh, if I'm going down, I'll take court. a whole lot of people with me. Order in the court. To this day, Nino Brown boxing are back in the building. So I want to talk about this undercard fight on this uh, Keith Thurman Manny Pacquiao pay per view. The um, the Udonis Ugas and the Omar Figueroa fight. I was looking at the card. You know, when we have a big fight, or we have um, just have fights in general, especially fights is getting a lot of uh, attention. I like to check the undercard fights, and this Udonis Ugas fight against Omar Figueroa definitely stands out to me. Like, prior to, um, I would say, like, back when we were, a lot of people, well, back when the conversation was Ugas possibly facing Earl Spence, I didn't really pay too much attention to Ugas. I knew Ugas was a Cuban fighter, and honestly, I jumped to the conclusion and I put him, like, in the category of every other Cuban fighter, even though that's not that's not necessarily a bad thing. I just jumped to the conclusion when it comes to his style, and I was wrong. Obviously, uh, Ugas has great boxing ability, but I didn't realize how strong Ugas was. And obviously, um, you know, he can put his strength on display and fights, but I didn't have, like, a good way of gauging how strong he was until he faced Sean Porter. I truly believe Ugas beat Sean Porter. And that's why Ugas is very high on my list when it comes to top when it comes to uh some of the top guys at welterweight. Obviously he doesn't crack the top five. But if Ugas gets past Omar Figueroa, and I feel that he will, I feel that Ugas has a lot of dog in him. He's you know, he's a very strong guy. And I feel like Ugas has different wrinkles to his boxing game that Omar Figueroa, when it just comes from a skill set perspective, he won't be able to match it. Um, I think extremely highly of the Cuban boxing school. And even though Ugas isn't all, isn't like the traditional Cuban fighter, I know he has the ability and the skill set to display the skills that are um, stereotypically attached to that Cuban boxing school. With that being said, basically, Ugas has the tools to be Omar Figueroa. I know Omar Figueroa is a good fighter. He has a lot of dog in him. Um, he's undefeated. All that good shit. But I don't see Omar Figueroa beating Ugas. I, I really don't. And I could be wrong at Omar Figueroa. He can prove me wrong. But to me, uh, Robert Guerrero victory is not all that impressive. Like, I know he's fought other guys, but it's just something about it's something about um Omar Figueroa that I I doubt him and it's really that simple. Now a good matchup for Ugas, let's just say Ugas gets past Omar Figueroa. Yeah, I'm looking to the future, I'm looking past Omar Figueroa. I can do that shit. Ugas can. He got a fight Saturday. I would love to see Ugas in the fight with a Danny Garcia. And it's like Certain guys in the welterweight division, I feel like they get too much credit. I feel like they're overrated. And then you got certain guys that are underrated. I feel like the winner of Ugas, Omar Figueroa, should face Danny Garcia next. Honestly, I feel like both of those guys can beat Danny Garcia. And that would definitely be a fight that I really want to see. And I feel like uh, when it comes to when the top welterweights are mentioned, you know, generally at this point in time in boxing, it's Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, Manny Pacquiao, Danny Garcia. Those are always the top guys that's mentioned, but I feel like we need to have a swap. You know, Danny Garcia needs to be swapped out with uh, um, Ugas or Omar Figueroa or even if Dan uh, Danny faces Mikey Garcia, I feel like Mikey Garcia can beat Danny or even a Mikey Garcia. Um, but yeah, man, I feel like it's going to be an exciting fight. No matter who gets the victory, I feel like I'll definitely be entertained and I'll be impressed with both of those guys. Like, it's a tough fight, very respectable opponents, and may the best man win. It's Nino Brown Boxing. Send out to the LDBC, and I'm out.